filter design using the image parameter method. So we will focus today on specific uh, technique which is using the composite filter design. So we start our uh, presentation on the RF filter design. Okay, so where is composite filter step? Is the third technique using combination of constant K and M derived filter section. So composite filter is realized by combining the constant K and M derived sharp cutoff and the M derived matching section in cascade. Filter with the, the, with the desired attenuation and matching properties can be realized. So here we go back to the graph. So M derived attenuation have a sharp uh, cutoff frequency, but after the cutoff frequency, so it will reduce significantly. While constant K, so it has uh, not a sharp cutoff here. So in order to maintain uh, the attenuation after the cutoff frequency here, so the composite is introduced in order to maintain the attenuation level. So in composite filter, uh, so we have four stage composite filter, which is combination of four stage here. So we have the two matching section in the input and the output. And we have the constant K here uh, using the T section for high cutoff frequency. Uh, and using the M section here, also using the T section for the sharp cutoff. So if we want to design the low pass filter, so we will use this part. If we want to use the high pass filter, we will use this part. Actually, it's just a combination of constant K and M derived. And we need to choose, so normally M uh, is less than 0 0.6 for sharp cutoff is chosen and for matching 0 0.6 uh, for both input and output matching. Example here. Example here we have the low pass composite filter with a cutoff frequency of 2 megahertz and impedance of 75 ohm. So place the infinite attenuation pole at 2.05 megahertz and plot the frequency response from 0 to 4 megahertz here. So here, so based on this four stage composite filter, so we do some calculation here. We take the first part in order to uh, design the low pass composite filter here, we use the K section, constant KT section. So we use this section configuration and we derive and calculate based on the parameter given. So R0 is 75 ohm, omega C uh, given here. So we just include the value and we able to calculate the L and C. So next in the using the M derived, derived section, so we derive based on the uh, formula here. So here we calculate the M equivalent to square root of 1 minus uh, Fc over F infinity uh, to the power of 2. And we get the M equivalent to 0 0.2195. And we include this value inside this M derived section. And we are able to get the uh, value in Henry and uh, Farad here for the inductor and capacitor. So we solve two sections here for the uh, K constant and MD run. Now we move to the both matching section. For the matching section, so we have the uh, both similar, the input and output is similar. So here, we choose M equivalent to 0 0.6 in order to calculate all the value here. So we're able to get 3.5, 636, and 
And finally, we include all these parameter here. Okay, for the matching input matching, we include the parameter here. We have the similar at the output, and we put all the value in the constant k and mb drive. What happened here? We able to have a, a sharp cutoff at two megahertz. Okay, and we can see that there is a pole. Uh, at zero point uh, of m equivalent to zero point two one nine five at two gigahertz and another pole at the zero point six section. So here we maintain the attenuation uh, around forty dB uh, at the selected frequency. Okay, so that's all for the presentation. So I hope you enjoy this video.